Hey guys, it's Miss Clark. Um, We're going to be doing a reading today and for the next couple of days um, from the book Hurricanes by Seymour Simon. So here's the cover of the story right here. And it's a nonfiction text. So a nonfiction text is something that is true and is um, has information about a certain topic. So our I can statement um, we actually have two today. It says, I can answer questions about a nonfiction text using key details from the text, and I can describe the effects of a hurricane on people. Okay, so our vocabulary before we start reading the book is hurricane, tropical, cyclone, disaster, I, and then counterclockwise. Okay, so those are our vocabulary words that we're going to be looking at today. So before we start reading, Okay, so you're going to create a KWL chart in your notebooks. You are going to write what you know in the chart and what you want to know about hurricanes. So you have five minutes. Here is the chart. I want you to copy this. So go ahead and pause the video and you have five minutes to write what you know and what you want to know about hurricanes. Ready? Go. All right. Now that you've uh, completed that task, what you're going to do next is you're going to listen to the story or to the, the book as I read. Now, we're going to stop on page 11. We're not reading the whole thing today because it has a lot of pages. It has 31. So that's a pretty good chunk of pages, too. And um, I'll get to show you the pictures and all that stuff. So... What we're going to do next is I'm going to read the story to you. I'm making my screen bigger so you can see it. All right. So, Hurricanes by Seymour Simon. All right. Got an author's note. Okay. So it says, Hurricanes are huge spinning storms that develop in warm areas around the equator. Hurricanes bring strong winds, heavy rains, storm surges, flooding, and sometimes even tornadoes. Coastal areas and islands are in the most danger during a hurricane, but even inland areas are at risk. Okay, so what can we um, infer about what the word inland means? Okay, so if it's in the land, that means that it's like on land, right? It's not in the ocean. All right, so hurricane season along the east coast of the United States, that's us, begins in June and continues until the end of November. So the peak hurricane months are August and September. The east coast averages about five hurricanes a year. In other parts of the world, hurricanes happen year round. The word hurricane comes from people who lived in the tropics in earlier times and saw the terrible destruction and great loss of life these storms can bring. The ancient Mayan people of South and Central America called their storm god Hunrakan. An evil god of the Taino people of the Caribbean was called Hurricane. Okay, so that sounds pretty familiar. All right, so there's the picture. As you can see, the street is flooded. Um, it's got trees blowing around. Here's the text. Okay. All right. Ooh, that's an interesting picture. Hmm. So it says, hurricanes are one of three kinds of storms called tropical cyclones. Oop, that's one of our vocabulary words. So tropical means that the storms form over the warm waters of the tropics near the equator. So the equator is like the invisible line that kind of looks like it cuts the world in half. Um, cyclones are storms spinning around a calm center of low air pressure. Cyclones spin counterclockwise. So that means they don't spin clockwise. Let's see. So if I'm if you're looking at me, clockwise is going to the right. Okay? So if it's going counterclockwise, it's going back to the left. Okay? All right. So 
They spin counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. So tropical depressions are cyclones of clouds and thunderstorms that spin around a central area. They have steady wind speeds of 38 miles per hour or less. So they sound a lot slower. Tropical storms are cyclones of heavy clouds and strong thunderstorms that spin at steady wind speeds of 39 to 73 miles per hour. So think about when you're riding on the highway, the big highway, and you're going, um, your mom or dad or whoever's driving is going as fast as they can. So they're going as fast as a tropical storm. Okay. All right. Hurricanes are the strongest tropical cyclones. They have steady winds of 74 miles per hour or higher. Okay. That's even scarier. All right, so they have steady, oh, I just read that. When these storms form over the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico, or West Coast of Mexico, they are called hurricanes. In the North Pacific, these kinds of storms are called typhoons. And in the Indian Ocean, they are called cyclones. Okay. All right. That's some scary stuff right there. Hurricanes are the only weather disasters that have been given their own names, such as Andrew, Camille, Floyd, Fran, Hugo, Irene, Katrina, Opal, and Rita. So that's not all the hurricanes that have happened, it's just a couple. In some ways, all hurricanes are alike, but like people, each hurricane has its own story. All hurricanes form in the same way. They begin life in the warm, moist atmosphere over tropical ocean waters. So they all start basically in the ocean. First, the atmosphere gathers heat energy through contact with ocean waters that are above 80 degrees Fahrenheit to a depth of about 200 feet. Wow, that's pretty deep. Next, moisture evaporating from the warm waters enters the atmosphere and begins to power the infant hurricane. The growing hurricane forms bands of clouds and winds near the ocean's surface that spiral air inward. The air is heated by warm ocean water, creating strong winds and forcing them to rise higher. So this increases the power of the hurricane and leads to stormy conditions over huge areas. Hurricanes can easily last more than a week and may strike Caribbean islands days before whirling north and west into the United States. Okay, so there's the picture. It's a really neat picture. Looking at the ocean. It's a photograph. All right. This satellite photo, so this is a satellite photo taken from the air, shows the bands of thunderstorm clouds spiraling in toward a hurricane center or eye. The eye of a hurricane is fairly calm with light winds and few clouds. But if you are in the eye of a hurricane and you think the worst is over, be warned. The most violent winds and heaviest rains take place in the eye wall or the ring of clouds and thunderstorms closely surrounding the eye. So the eye is like the middle of the hurricane, right? So in this picture, the eye would be right there, kind of like in the middle, like in a, um, like a donut. You know, you got a donut and then you've got the little hole. That's kind of like the eye. I know that donuts and hurricanes are not alike, but it's just a picture. And then, <clears throat> let's see, at the top of the eye wall, so at 50,000 feet, most of the air pushes outward and then falls like water from a fountain, but always spinning in a counterclockwise, remember that's to the left, direction in the northern hemisphere. When a hurricane grows to full strength, it can kick up waves 50 feet or higher in open ocean waters. Every second, a large hurricane moves more than a million cubic miles of atmosphere. Wow. Typical hurricane can dump from six inches to over a foot of rain across a region. So that means that um, if there's a hurricane coming through, it'll probably dump at least six inches to a foot of rain. That is a lot of rain, you guys. Hurricane forecasts estimate when the eye will pass over a particular location, but even a small hurricane has damaging winds and rains that may arrive many hours before the eye. So what's talking about there is you see here's the eye and then there's all this wind and like yellow stuff around the outside. Okay, that will get there 
um, to like this area before the middle does. So a hurricane can last a pretty good amount of time. All right, so we're going to stop there at page 11. All right, let's take a look at what we're working on. So it says, after reading, add three facts learned to the L side of the KWL chart. So let me move my materials. So your chart right here that you should have in your notebook, this is the L. This means that you learned three facts. So you're going to write three facts that you learned from that part. If you need to rewind or go back to what I read, that is totally fine. Take your time, okay? Now, some uh, discussion questions. So I'll do one of each. So it says, what are areas in the most danger from hurricanes? Okay. And then where do hurricanes form? Hmm, that's a good one. And then when does hurricane season begin and end? I told you on page five. And then why are hurricanes the strongest type of storm? Uh, I'm sorry, the strongest type of tropical storm. And then how do hurricanes form? Mm, that's a very involved question. So discuss that with someone at your house. Um, you're welcome to answer them in your remote notebook if necessary. Um, and then if there's extra time, so another question in your reading notebook is why do you think hurricanes can form so quickly? Okay, so kind of like this, this doesn't really have like a right or wrong answer. This is more of like, I'm going to think about this topic. Okay, so um, while you're writing that down, if you have extra time, you don't have to do this one. This is just... Um, something extra. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the lesson tomorrow where we keep reading the same book called Hurricanes by Seymour Simon.